one. It's it's your girl Joy, and we're coming. We and making we, spaghetti uh, and some garlic bread. Uh, we're in the kitchen here in Brooklyn. We with we with. We it's gonna be so. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm stupid. Hello, this is Joy Voodoo and Chef Will Coleman. I'm in Hulsam in Brooklyn, and we are so excited to be in the kitchen today. That's not normal for me. You know, my relationship to food is- Learning new things. It's strange, but we're learning new things. We're embracing it, we're taking it in. Uh, before we proceed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and do all the nice things that keep us digitally employed. But yes. I'm really hyped because you're going to be on the podcast. I am. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't already heard the podcast, you can download it. You can find it on my profile. It's about <laughs> dating. We'll be talking about what foods to try and and not to try and not to try on the first date. On Important first information. The way it tells you. We just want your gut and you know breath what I'm and breath <laughs> to be right. <laughs> to be right and correct. So we're gonna be cooking today and actually working on Will series. You want to tell them about your series? Yes. Uh, happy meals. I'm inviting a friend to my Brooklyn kitchen to make some food that makes us happy. Some explanatory. Yes. Spaghetti makes me happy. Garlic makes you happy. Absolutely. We're together making things that make us happy. Happy. Aww. Aww. Joyful, if you will. Oh. Yes. Joy meals. This is great. Y'all, I really don't belong in a kitchen, so it's an honor to just be here and excited to be making your reel. So, yeah. Let's get cooking. You can check out Chef Will Coleman on all platforms, platforms yes. Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can check out Joy of Vodou or the Dating Podcast. Dating unsettled. Okay, let's get going. It's Happy Meals time, and we have a Joy Opodu. We're making spaghetti and garlic bread. We need it. It's gonna be good. Joy, why do you like spaghetti? I like spaghetti because my mom and dad always used to cook it. My dad makes the most fire spaghetti. When I was sick, it was the food that would heal me, so I'm ready to be healed again and learn to do it by myself. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, dude, let's cook. Onion chopping. Mmm. I'm totally gonna do this. Interesting Where the hell is the can opener? I'm going to begin to chop the onion by cutting each end and then peeling and then ripping the skin off and then chopping. So I like to cut it in half first. Okay. Take off one end because you take off both ends, the onion just goes everywhere. True. So take off like this. So just cut it off. Oh, um, just chop it off. Mm -hmm. oh. Don't cut yourself. We do not have insurance. No, we do not. <laughs> and then it's even hurt. Easier if you put it face down. Oh, I did? Face down, ass up. Face down. And then yeah. what happened? Oh, yeah. And I peel it. Okay. Yeah, you know. Look at me learning to peel an onion correctly. We love a trash bowl. We sure do. Rachel Ray. <laughs> Shout out to Rachel. Okay. You see, we're already experiencing. Oh, you got this. You got I'm going with you. Oh, Take the end oh, off. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah. So you see, I'm learning. We're learning. Uh, and then I'm just gonna peel it off, like well. Boom! Trash bowl. Yes. Yes. Chop that onion. I like to do like not. You don't want people choking on onions, but you also don't want it to disintegrate into nothing. Okay, Joy, hold on with the chopping skills. We are definitely coming off the uh, thing a little bit, so that's, you know, it's to be okay. expected. All right, all right. I I, the, the thing with spaghetti is, like, it doesn't have to be perfect right. because it's going to taste good. It's all right. the sauce. Right. It's it, and too much sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to get it like you were. Chop, chop. A little bit more. Chop, a little bit more. You close for her. Like that? Uh-huh. I'm trying to do the knife thing down. I don't be doing it. You doing it though. Wow. You doing it though. Wow, I'm cookie. Look at everyone, look at I'm cookie. Uh, and you're not crying either. No, I'm not crying. I, I think I have a Nigerian resistance <laughs> to onions. <laughs> oh, my mom, when I was when I was little, my mom used to take um onion yeah, like juice and she would drop it. You crying? Huh? Her face. Oh. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah, okay. I was crying. When um when I was little, my mom would take onion juice, she would drop it into some teardroppers and put it in my eye. What? Just, no. Oh. <laughs> no. I was like, oh my goodness, hold on, let's let's call mom. And no, see what's up because... she did not do that. Okay, so we're good here. I think these are a little bit long, but otherwise, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna all cook down. Yeah, so it'll just like melt it. Perfect. Lovely. So we're gonna saute our onions. Bless you. Bless you. Knew that was happening. I feel blessed. <laughs> Way up. I feel blessed. Like Riley Curry. Okay. Some yes. olive oil. Uh, Use olive oil butter. 
I like olive oil. Olive oil? Yeah. So I approve. That's what we that's what we have to do. That's okay, yeah. so that's how we put that in. Okay, so we put that on the uh stove to medium. Medium, medium high. Medium Not high. Not too low. Just, you know. <laughs> so everything about you is delightful. Okay. Love All right. It. Onions in the pan. Oh, that's a cute little scooper. Scraper. Let me try. Yes. Onions in the pan. I only dropped one. No, Teamwork. no, no. No, no, no. I don't even know if those are for you. I have to Google it. I don't think it is actually. Okay. That's fine. Lovely. There's let's, a little puppy. Let's chop some garlic. Can be far away. I'm not gonna hold you up. Mm -hmm. The garlic that's pre peeled, I'm a fan of. And I won't blame you. Like, it is what it is. I don't take any extra pride, you know what I'm saying, in chopping it. So, if somebody already did it, why am I doing it? It's like mathematics. The reason I got so frustrated with mathematics in school, somebody already did these calculations. Why am I sitting here doing it? it <laughs> too much. Come on. All right, chop some garlic up. Okay, so here we go. Not too crazy. Just chop it up. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. I like garlic. I really love garlic. I almost eat it like plain like this. The thing is, like, I would say garlic is a bad first food date, yeah. but yeah. I want my food to be seasoned with garlic, maybe. True. It's like, I definitely try to skip the garlic fries on the first date. By the third date, maybe. <laughs> okay, so what are bad first date foods? Garlic for sure. I know we're going to get to this garlic for sure. Um, I would just avoid broccoli or spinach. Things that are going to get right in your yeah, teeth, teeth. Where you need to go to the restroom to go see it. Or be taking your teeth on a date. That's a no. Sharp cheeses? Yeah, and Mexican food. Dairy in general? You know what? It depends on your constitution. Yeah. It absolutely depends on your constitution. I like ice cream, but... I like ice cream, but I don't go for a sorbet instead. So we head to Basel Robles and be like, oops, sorbet. Yeah. Thank you. In places if you have vegan ice cream too. And then when you kiss, you know, potentially your breath could be a little, you know, flimmy, so we don't want that. Maybe some peppermint ice cream. Oh, Things yeah. I hate. Peppermint ice cream. I, I would eat it if I thought it was going to advantage me. <laughs> <laughs> if I thought it would further the cause. Okay, I like that my garlic is starting to look like yours. You might need a chocolate chip. Not. It was like a. I've not a shot. I was like really sick and I tried it. Oh, okay. Does it help? I wasn't sick no more. But yeah. I, that, it could have been the garlic or it could have just been the circle of life. Mm. I don't know. Brands, I must help you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garlic in? Okay. Uh, <laughs> how did you do yours? You put it on the knife? Yeah. Oh. That noise. I like it. I like that noise. It's like a sword unsheathing or something like that. Fine. Okay. Onions, garlic, yum, sauteing. In olive oil. On medium, medium high. Medium, medium high. Medium, medium high. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the onions and garlic sauteing at medium, medium high. And some salt. Ooh. The way you do it is fancy. Yeah, Everything's yeah. magical. Yeah, that's, that's why it. I love your reels on Instagram. I gotta do it. Okay. I'm gonna just hit you with the ding 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 Perfect. Smells very nice. So tell me about uh, the other things that you brought or bought that are going to supplement. I see here we have basil as our ingredient. Basil. We have whole tomatoes peeled. This is interesting because my family always does like a prego type tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm trying to do it a little different. You oh. know, a little, a little bit extra. But the prego, prego does work. No, I see that. Okay, this is cool. I'm excited yeah. to try it. Your We're way. making our own white sauce. We got the onion and garlic back there. Yes, we do. Add the basil in. in. Yep. Tomato. Okay, lovely. Pray go at home. And then talk to me about meat purchases. Ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat. Is I didn't grow up with that. What did you grow up with? Ground what? turkey. Oh, no, we're ground beef goils. Yeah. Thank you for, for humoring the no, way we know, have. You know, I love you know. that. So we have ground beef here. 80-20 is like classic. Like, yes. 20 is the fat, yes. 80 is the lean. Love that. Lean. <laughs> Rock it. Okay. And then you're going to cook that in the top. Oh, it's... 
It's sizzling. All right. Oh, that smells divine. That smells lovely. Come and see this. That's, yeah, we like that. Mm-mm. That smells good. Mm-hmm. You sure? <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the garlic and onion face. My garlic and onion face will forever be. <laughs> This is good. Also child. And then over here we have two baked titties. No, two baguettes. <laughs> Oops. You said he came broke like that? I see. They did me dirty. And did they give you a discount? They sure did, actually. Oh, okay. I love that. Off. That's, that's great. <laughs> okay, and so you like to cook the ground beef that's 80% lean, 20% fat directly inside? Inside the garlic and onion. Inside onions? the garlic and onions. all the flavors together. You know, I really like that, actually. Yeah. Can you put it in? Yeah, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna cut this open gently. And this is not like chicken, like I don't have to be super careful about how I prep toss it. Toss, toss it in, in there. As as one. As one. Okay. But there's a little thing on the back of it, so. Yeah? No, yeah. You know like usually I can give me it's the um that little pad on the back. I know what you mean, that little it gentle um like little leaflet, almost parchment paper type. It's organic. Thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> organic tree. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so this is our trash bowl up here. Cool. The ground beef is now getting just like diced in like that mm -hmm. with a spatula, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. I can do this at home. You're actually giving me like a lot of confidence. So I could like prep this meal myself. I get you do it. I literally have just been channeling like so much stress and energy because like cooking by myself is like such a like stressful endeavor. You know what I mean? You got this though. I know this, this I can do. This I can do. Do it. Great. Should we pick some spices out? Let's pick some spices. Rolling in the fantastic Spice Garden, Chef Bill Bowen. Chef, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Look at this card, ladies and gentlemen, and options. gentlemen. We got <laughs> options. Well, I think we need some Saturday mornings. What is Saturday mornings? What's in here? I oh, Joy, it's just my spice line. <laughs> Saturday mornings. Uh, Look at Saturday mornings in a jar, everybody. Okay. Rosemary, thyme, basil. Throw it all in there. Oh, just all of it. Throw it off. Yeah, wait, wait. Throw it. Throw it into the pot. Throw it into the pot. That's right. Throw it into the pot. Come on. Throw it. Ooh, yes. All of that. And then try to just mix it in a little bit. Mix it in. Mix it in. Mix it in. Mix it in. Throw some onion powder in it. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and add that onion powder. Onion powder. So we have a secret Saturday mornings from the chef. We also have onion powder. Oh. See, very true master on my behalf, but guess what? It's happening. Some paprika. Paprika is going in. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it has to be smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. The regular stuff, don't want it. Don't want it. Oh, the paprika just added the most heavenly smell. If you don't want to see exactly what this really looks like, you have to go to Will's Real on Instagram, okay? YouTube, you're just here to kick it with us. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to see the goodness, you want to see the colors, the colors, you have to go to Will on Instagram. Oh, this looks You so know good. where to go. You know where to find it. You know where to find it. Okay, so the uh, ground beef is starting to brown. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. I know that means cooking is happening. We don't want the pink because the pink was raw meat. But then the paprika is confusing me a little bit because it's red. But a little fennel will do the trick too. Let's see. Fennel. A couple of fennel seeds Smell going it. in. Oh, sure, that's sure so fragrant. Sure I like that. Hold up. Fennel. It's like a little fennel sausage smell. Oh yeah. It's giving that. It's giving that for sure. I like this a lot. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Get a party foul, one onion. One onion has left the block. <laughs> spike spice card leaving set. Spice card leaving, leaving set. set. Bye, spice card. We love you. It smells good, it looks good. Fresh inside. Do it right. Oh, this is gonna taste so great. You give it. Put some water. Tea. Woo! Make some white. This is gonna smell so. I mean, it already smells good. It's gonna taste so good. Mm. I know it. And yeah. you can see seasoning. As an African or African American, eyes on the seasoning. Yeah, you can tell. You just look at some. You literally be like sitting down, like to order something. You go to Yelp, and then you see that there's no seasoning on the food. You change your order. You do I'm gonna have to just leave. You just I'm, leave. I'm gonna just leave. We can just end this right now. Wait, this is a great question. As a chef. Does that make it tougher for you when you're like at restaurants? Absolutely. Oh my god. I'm very critical and I'm yelling everything before I get there. So when you're with friends and they go, oh, let's all go out to eat at blah, blah, blah. 
and you don't really feel it, are you gonna shut the whole thing down? I am gonna send over some other suggestions. Okay, wow. Suggestions. Because you can't do anything about like a birthday dinner yeah. that's already scheduled. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I never thought. My about- friends have pretty good taste though. Okay. And we're in New York, so it's like pretty good options out there. And like, there's so many restaurants in New York. We've been eating. Um, oh my god, we had Caribbean at Coco Mo. Oh, we love Coco Mo. Coco Mo was really good. Yeah. Um, you gotta try Imani. I had arepas this morning oh. at a certain place that had some ginger shots. I just like I never thought about as a chef going out to eat, especially in New York, must be like such a part of your experience. How critical you might be yeah. during that stuff. For me, I try to be open a little bit. Yeah, I'm not an asshole. But you can <laughs> you notice you have to turn your brain because you yeah. notice. For me, as a voice actor, is when I watch commercials. Oh, sure, yeah. Every single commercial, I'm like listening to the vocal performance, like. And it's like, it doesn't interrupt my life, but it is something that You I'm are like, being critical. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I went to school with like directors and writers, so whenever you watch a movie, they're like, this could have been done differently. Yeah, yeah. Every single film, you're like, hmm, okay, this time. That's why we make our own stuff. Aw, that's what we, we like. Our own things. Okay, so what's happening here with the basil? Switch. Switch, switch, switch. All right. Um, you want to chop the basil or open the can of tomato sauce? Show me how to open a can. That's a life skill I don't have. Boom. As in, like, I kind of have it. But watch this get funny, okay? Line it. You got it? Oh shit, huh? You see those two things right there? Those two things in the, right there? Put yeah. Put the can in the middle of that. Oh, okay. This is like a lot of why it didn't work. Yeah. And then snap it. Boom, y'all. Woo! Turn okay, it. Now just twist it, right? Yeah. Twist it, turn Look, it, pop it. So you put it in between the two wheels and then you twist it. Tw- grow it. Twist it. Lessons from joy. Pop it. Woo! Okay. Yeah, close a bit. Oh, oh, oh. I heard that. Is that okay? Yeah, we're all good. Uh oh, uh oh. Y'all, and I mean, the somebody, road to success. Somebody who's a chef, like I'm sure, is just like you know, this is whatever. Honestly, to somebody who doesn't cook for themselves, this is not something I like do correctly every time. I promise, and it's like that feels like embarrassing to say at 25. But it's like we love progress. Yeah, it's progress. <laughs> but I, I quite literally am like I feel probably most proud of this, frankly, of anything we've done today. Keep, keep going to hold things off. Oh, look at that! Wow, who did that? Who did that? I opened the game. Who did that? I opened the game. Who did that? I opened the game. Who did that? <laughs> okay, so now this awkward part is like you use like a little knife and just lift it. Just lift it up. There you go. Put it in a trash bowl. Trash bowl, trash bowl. Boom. Bye. Corn tomatoes in here. All right, here we go. We have these uh, organic whole tomatoes peeled. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh, those Ooh. are big, juicy ones. Yeah. And I like a chunky tomato sauce, so this is going to be quite perfect. Black pepper, can we show a little bit? Just lean yes. with it. Okay, that looks good. Look okay. at that. Look at that. That looks real yummy. Look at that. Fill that can up with some water. Oh, oops. Yeah. And then uh, throw that water right here. Okay, just right here? Yep. New York has excellent tap, y'all. I did not know this. I think it's the best in the country. I, it, like, it's so clear. Delicious. Or half that in for now. Half of it. more later, we can do it. You can do chicken broth or water. Just about half. Let that simmer. So we are letting the ground beef, the onions, the garlic, the basil, the fennel, the Saturday morning's onion powder. Everything. Whole tomatoes and half the can of water. Simmer in there. Yeah. Simmer on low, not medium high. Low. Simmer. Simmer. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Chop some basil now. Let's get it. You can have... We're gonna chop all this basil, but we're gonna save some for our garlic bread. Uh, mm, yum, I've never had basil on garlic bread. Some for the sauce, some for the garlic bread. No good. Mm. Y'all don't wanna do the smell. You wanna like see it. a really cool trick? It smells very earthy. A really cool trick is to stack all the basil leaves on top of each other. Roll it up real tight, roll the basil. Stack the basil leaves, roll them up real tight. Oh, like this? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. We roll in like Seth Rogen. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then get your knife. Oh. <laughs> I told you there's some unintended casualties that happen when I cook. Okay. All right. And then just chop. Look at that. Okay, Joy, hold on. I'm learning to chop. And this is called chiffonading. This process is chiffonading. You know how to make top and all? Chiffonade to the top and all. And you have like even <gasps> wow. basil pieces. I strand. I have some big ones here at the top. Do I just shift another one? Okay, we're shifting out of that. Shifting out it, shifting out it. Boy, you looking like you like what you see. Would you come in? Shifting out it, I'm gonna do a good one. Let it let him shop another one. I'm only shifting out it. Do I go with you? Let me check on me. Yes. Love that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. Do it again. We're gonna stack our basil leaves. 
Oh God, it's so simple. You just take your basil leaves. I love these like charismatic chefs. You know what I mean? They're so loud. It's like everything doesn't need to be this loud, especially because you're in your kitchen and nobody's in your home. But you know what? There's no music playing. Doesn't even matter if there wasn't be royalty free. All right, everybody. <laughs> so go ahead and <laughs> stack those basil leaves just like this. Put them like a cuckoo kachu, you know, like a cuckoo burrow, like a kangaroo in a, in a cuckoo pouch. Just like that. Just like my mom used to do. And they be lying. They be Mama, lying. Mama did that. She, they be lying. she bought basil pesto. Mama was a chain smoker. <laughs> like, ah. Stop lying to people. Like. Ah. All right, here we go. And we're going to roll, roll it in the deep. And roll it in the deep. You doing that. You doing that. Now, it's like the cutting myself part of cooking is actually not what I'm concerned about. When it comes to knives, I'd be like, yo. You need a sharp knife too, that helps. Yeah. This is a really nice one. All right, y'all. One. Okay, here we go. Make one. it rain. Yeah. Make it rain. Yeah. 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 Rest of our basil. Right into our bowl. Right into the bowl. Right into the bowl. Butter, 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 butter. My boy Butter, do a time in the box. If you're on YouTube a lot, you know where that comes from. Where did that come from? There's this really silly video where every single item in the fridge becomes animated oh. and it turns into a rap battle. <laughs> so that, you know, somebody's like, eggs, boy, you go bad. Seven days, da, da, da. And then they all go goes, back and forth. And they go back and forth. And then somebody goes, shout out to my boy, Butter, do it time in the box. Because, you know, Butter's always up in the box. Up in the box. Uh, and then Butter's there like, <laughs> Okay. So we got my boy, Butter. We got basil in a separate bowl. Garlic bread. <laughs> Garlic bread time. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to clean it off. And rinse, rinse, rinse. Yeah, we love it. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. Just a regular toss. And then I'm not here. Garlic bread time. <laughs> this is perfect. Almost half the stick of butter. Yes. With the basil. And then my boy butter's going back in the box. Back in the box. Bye, butter. Toward the life. <sighs> okay. And I'm going to toss my garlic up. You can do this, basil, garlic, some paprika, some thyme. Mm -hmm. I have rosemary. Mm -hmm. Rosemary. I'll, you do that, now okay. I do rosemary. Chopping the garlic for the garlic bread. Our garlic bread has garlic. Joy is on garlic duty. Hey, garlic duty. And yeah, I, I want to add some rosemary in too, so let's do that. You play music when you just cook? No, but I do sing. I wish I could sing. Okay. I'll never shut up. We're hearing some sizzling from our spaghetti, but it's all good. All right, do it together. One, two, three. Love that. That's that. Oh, did I totally miss? Thank you. Wow. It's funny because it looked like it went in, but you probably get that. Good job. A little salt. I didn't use salted butter, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. We're okay with that. Mm -hmm. A little backyard barbecue, chipotle, paprika, chili flakes. Good things. Mmm, we like good things. I'm gonna chop the tomato with a spatula like Freddy. <laughs> no tomato is safe from me. No tomato is safe from her. No tomato is safe from me. No tomato is safe from her. <laughs> Una sopa de carne con tomate out. Okay, so we had our first little bit jump out at us. Are you going oh. back to our first communication ever? We did meet at YMS and SF. Yeah. I thought I met you at. Let me just double check. Isn't that very interesting? Very interesting. Will and I are trying to figure out how we met. How did we get here? How did we get to this point right here? So yeah, I love the job because it was like, let's discover local creators mm -hmm. and put them into campaigns. Do you think that like helped people give you knowledge at all? Like, it's like you know an hour. I think it definitely did because I came to find out what makes a best in class Instagram creator. Mm -hmm. Then I just started applying yeah. those practices to myself. Yeah, because you, I met you, you weren't that big on social media. I was not. I had like 6,000 followers because I wasn't trying to be. I was pouring all of my energy and effort into making Instagram as a brand globally look good. Yeah, right? I'm partially responsible with many, many, many other people for why was Instagram so popular? Why, you know, is everybody like trying to get represented? Why is everyone trying to get paid? Then I took that back to myself and was like, Ooh, I can make myself just as globally discoverable. Mm -hmm. So. It's been very exciting, and I still work with Instagram, so we got some stuff going on. We got some stuff coming out. So uh, through that capacity, though. Yeah, like as a creator now. Just What do you think, like the, those things that help global creators become global creators? I think 
think less about, oh, does every single thing on my profile like look good, like some of the traditional stuff we used to focus on. Uh -huh. You're using the new, music yeah, style. like people over rotate on that. You're more likely to be discovered through your hashtags and through feed than somebody coming to your profile. Like yeah. a lot of people don't know that. Um, following all of their like in-house guidance. So you follow creators, follow Instagram, follow Instagram for business because they literally funnel the same tips. I was not using like inside information or whatever to blow up on Instagram. I'm using the things that yeah, they would post. Yeah, that they would post. Use every single new product. So it's like if they say, hey, we're launching reels. Hey, we're doing remix. Start remixing. Like, they want to feature people who are using the latest thing. So if they launched X feature X long ago, may not be as hot of a priority, right? Yeah. Stories are hot, reels are hot, messages are forever. Um, but I would definitely, like, just stay up on the newest one. Oh, we're testing out this feature to start. Start, start right immediately. away. Immediately. Right away. And, like, make it a thing. Make it a series. Because you're going to be the first people that they call mm -hmm. to, like, represent on the, on the press and, like, come speak to them about their products. Um... I think good creators also focus down. So like, yes, we're a lot of things. Yes, like nobody take me like the wrong way. But when you say, well, I'm a DJ, clown, makeup artist, <laughs> chef, uh, interpretive dancer, the algorithm has no idea yeah, who you are, who you are, what to do with you, who to promote you to. So, but if you come in and you say, I'm a chef and what makes me unique as a chef is I cook out of firehouse or whatever right mm -hmm. that i work in there we go we got it cooking right and then fire is not really an interest it's just it's what makes you special mm -hmm. right i wear a clown costume while i cook like there's a way <laughs> to bring your interest give me that tomato i'm gonna throw it on my yeah. there's a way to bring your interest together that people don't do if you can focus down they know who to pitch you to they know what programs to put you in you are a chef it's clear and all your content should fit that and if you're like well that feels restricting We'll make another account for yeah. the stuff that you want to. Your clown account. So that's to me like that's what would make a creator blow up, and I tell every single person that I do that myself. The reason I wasn't big, I was posting photography, tech, blah, 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 blah. When I started posting only dating comedy reels for two years, my account blew up. Espaguetis. Let's make some pasta or boil it. Yeah, let's boil the pasta. We ain't doing nothing homemade now. Calm down. We're not calm down. This is not that. But okay. it's a product of Italy. Okay, part of Italia. What's so my Italian grandma basically made this. Don't lie on grandma. <laughs> Don't lie on grandma. Molto bene. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Let's boil some pasta. Let's boil some pasta. All right, this part I know how to do. So I basically like to take half of it out because I'm a child. No, I can't hold all that at once. Go like this. Bop, bop, and I wrinkle. Boom. Wrinkle. Wrinkle. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and do that with the Third. other half. Bop, bop, bop. Ba -da 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 -ti -la -da -do -wow. And we're going to break it downward into the pot for all my messy hoes. Oh, with the seasoned out of salt water. Oh, true. With a little mm -hmm. seasoned salt. Want to do it? Yeah. I'll just make little noises. Salt your water, salt your water, salt your water. That should be enough. Okay. Let it do its thing. You heavily salt your water. I have never actually seen that. They say your water tastes like the ocean. Your water should taste like the ocean. Okay, I learned something today. Stir it together. Why did you break the noodles? Oh. Tradition. I'm asking. Yeah, that's just how we do. Uh huh. That's the length we like them. That's so funny. You just be putting them in flat. Just in flat, yeah. Wow. This is yeah, really cool. Okay. We were gonna cook all this and put it on those little Zoo Pals animal plates. They should send us some. They should really. Zoo Pals, if you're listening. Please send us Chef some Will plates. Coleman and Unqualified Joy. <laughs> to call yourself Chef, do you. Is that like a personal thing? Do you training? Like, how, how does that work out? I have some training. I do call myself a chef because I define like what I am. Yes. Um, yes. So, yeah. I've had conversations about that before because, like, when you go to culinary school, but. Going to culinary school, having education doesn't make you something. Like yeah. now, actors went to acting school. Now, a singer went to school. Is, that, is there so something in singer school? There is. You can go get locally school. trained. No, but it's like, uh, yeah, PFA, like local performance. Like mm -hmm. you can, of course, you can. Anybody. Yeah. Can. What's interesting about that? Like, I'm a comedian, and I think that there's definitely people who are like, unless you do stand up, yeah, on the toughest, smallest stages where nobody knows your name. You're not comedian. It's like that's so old school. I'm, like, I'm making that. millions of people yeah. laugh, and it's not about it's not about numbers, but it's, it's just like if you're funny, you're a comedian. If mm -hmm. you cook, you're a chef. That's how I see it. Yeah, I love that. Noodles, cooking, pasta, going. Let's smell the butter. 
You like spicy food? Yes. All right. This is what is going into, I guess, the microwave? Yeah. That's real easy. I like that. This is going no, inside the microwave that. for us to make put that where he uh, put garlic that. bread. Fun. They're all fun, colorful combination here. How you gonna do it if you make that garlic bread? Put it in the microwave. Put it in the microwave. Hey, damn, damn. Get down on it. Damn, damn, damn. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all, we're gonna let everything cook, 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 and simmer, and then we're gonna come back to you when things look like they're almost done. I'm a little hot. <laughs> I'm just, ready to eat. We gotta cool down. Cool down, simmer. Rogue in the kitchen. Let's see this update. Yeah, real saucy, real flavorful. Mm, that's looking good. Okay, so this is the sauce for our spaghetti. We have the spaghetti back there yep. boiling. Yep. Let's check that out. Ready to come out, to be honest. Okay, yeah, that was quick. Yep. And then we salted that, right? We've also got some ba, 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 melted garlic buttery seasoning. We're gonna put right here. Soft on bread. Mm. Yeah. Oh Talk to yeah. Nice. Yup. Nice. Yup. Okay. So what happens next? Spaghetti into the sauce. Okay. Directly inside. That's, Directly inside. The I've... starch water is gonna make this extra good. Okay. Yum. Yeah. I ain't never seen that before. No, we don't, you don't do that at home, do you? We, we be doing it separate. We keep the sauce separate from the spaghetti. I don't know. Why. Oh, do you? Yeah. But he this does is like, too. Yeah. But this is, I like, I like how you cook it and I like what it looks like when it's done. Like after you've twisted it all up with the mm -hmm. fork and stuff, it looks so beautiful. Let me, get, let me, get. Let me even get rid of all the wrapping. Mm -hmm. Look at real good. Uh, Real seasoned. Seasoned. Real saucy. Yum. Yeah, we did. We gave it to our nature. Mm. This is going to have ricotta in it.